What's up geeks and gamers? It's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we're going to talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 4. So Polygon just uploaded an article and basically it says Call of Duty Black Ops 4 won't have a traditional single player campaign. Black Ops 4 will instead focus on multiplayer and zombies according to sources. And then if we scroll down just a little more, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 won't include a single, uh, traditional single player story mode according to sources with knowledge of the project's status. The shift in creative direction will make Black Ops 4 the first mainline Call of Duty to ship without a standard campaign. I think this is a terrible idea. Now, full disclosure, I don't play the campaigns on Call of Duty. I specifically do play them for the multiplayer aspect, but I know a lot of people that really enjoy the campaigns on the Call of Duty games, and they do have really good campaigns from the few I've played personally. So this isn't a personal thing with me because I don't play the campaign anyway, but I know a lot of people that are going to be frustrated with this, and it just seems like every time Call of Duty starts to move in the right direction, they take two steps back. I have not liked a Call of Duty since Black Ops 2, I think. Modern Warfare 3 was pretty good. I can't remember if that came before or after Black Ops 2, but our Black Ops 1 and 2 were my favorite ones, along with, obviously, Modern Warfare 1 and 2. Um, and then for several years, I just could not stomach Call of Duty. I tried every one of the games, and I just could not get invested in them. World War 2 was a huge step in the right direction, though. I actually enjoyed World War 2 a lot. And now this news right here of no single player campaign, I just think you're alienating uh, a significant portion of your fan base. I won't say it's the majority because I do feel like a lot of people don't play the single player, but there's a lot of people that do. Now again, they have the data, I don't, so I'm only speaking from my uneducated standpoint from what I think I know just from being a gamer and talking to gamers and things like that. But based on what I'm hearing, I would like to see if they have any data to support that this is a good idea. I mean, it, it goes like it goes with everything in business. So if they have data showing that people just aren't buying these games for the single player aspect, then I guess they're justified. But just it doesn't feel right to me. It feels like a, a mistake. And I will be interested to see how this all plays out. I mean, if you go back to me, I, I have a big retail background. So, for instance, if you're in a retail store like a Walmart or, or a national grocery chain and there's a product that doesn't sell well in your store, or maybe there's a product that does sell well in your store, but corporate makes the decision to delete that item because over the entire region it doesn't sell but people only see it in their isolated little view and go oh well this sells every week in my store why are you guys getting rid of it well from a distribution standpoint it doesn't make sense for us to distribute this to two or three stores where it sells good when we have 120 stores total and it only sells good in three or four so you have to look at things from beyond your own perspective so I will be interested to know exactly what the basis of this decision is it will be interesting but on its surface based on my little knowledge on the situation I think this is a mistake and I don't like it at all but let me know what you think in the comments below are you still on the Call of Duty bandwagon did you jump off back when I jumped off with Black Ops 2 are you excited for uh, Black Ops 4 I mean as a multiplayer fan I will still probably get this game and play it but I think fans, if, if, if we've learned anything from Battlefront, Battlefront 2015, with no single player campaign, when fans have always been conditioned to expect a single player campaign, we saw how bad that went for the fan base. Now, Battlefront 2015 sold well, but, and I'm a fan of that game, but fans just, there, there's a bad, there's a bad aura around Battlefront now, and Call of Duty has some PR problems right now, and I don't think this is going to help their PR problems. So talk to me in the comments. You guys have a great day. We'll talk to you later.